If you bought a condo in Mississauga in December 2022, there is some good news for you. Uh, there's not a lot of good news going on, but for you, there is some good news. And the good news is that you have not lost any money. And believe me, in 2023, I would take that as a win because a lot of people bought at the wrong time and lost a lot of money. So prices have not changed much when you compare December of 2022 to December of last year, right around $610,000. But unfortunately, that's where the good news ends because if you were one of the unlucky ones who bought at the wrong time, which was the spring of 2023, you are already down 10%. Uh, prices have dropped 10% in less than one year for condos in Mississauga. But that's not the worst of it because detached homes are doing a lot worse. Detached homes, average price for a detached house right now is $1.35 million dollars. And that's a drop of 7% when you compare it to December of 2022. But that's not the worst of it. 17% drop compared to spring of 2023. Imagine losing 17% of your house's value in less than one year. Freehold townhomes, not doing much better. Uh, pretty identical, actually, to detached homes. Average price for a freehold townhouse is $922,000 in December. That's a drop of 6% when you compare it to December of 2022. And that's a drop of 21% when you compare it to the peak of the market, which was the spring real estate market in 2023. Now let's look at five year average. Let's see what's going on with average prices. And let me know in, your com in the comments down below, do you guys think we will ever reach these prices, the 2019 prices? Because a lot of agents are very optimistic right now. The spring is coming that everything is going to go back up again. I'm not as optimistic as some of the other ones. But let me know your thoughts if we will ever reach 2019 prices. Because average price for a detached house in 2019 was $1.2 million. And then it jumped all the way to $1.8 million in 2021, December. By the way, this is December only, not um, you know overall for the rest of the year, but just December. And right now we're sitting at $1.35 million. Uh, condos, as, as I showed you before, not much has changed. It was six eleven last year, it's six ten nine hundred this year. Uh, freehold townhomes, uh, the highest was if you compare December's only $1.1 million. And now we're at 922. Condo townhomes, uh, pretty stable when you compare uh, December of 2022 to last December, 776 to 773. So condo townhomes and condo buildings have done the, you know, the best considering what is going on in the market. Now, uh, this is for December. Only 285 homes sold in all of Mississauga. I'll show you guys in just a second the actual chart so you can see month by month how much it has changed. And SNLR is sales to new listing ratio. We are sitting at 46.6%. And that is dangerously close to a buyer's market because a buyer's market is anything below 40 percent uh, we'll see if we get there or if we get the spring rush once again and then it picks up once again but this is the big difference average days on market right now is 49 days and back in the springtime it was like less than two weeks so that's how much the market has changed right now we're sitting at 2.4 months of inventory and this is the chart where i can show you uh, sales active listings and new listings month by month uh, like I said, no surprise there. May was the busiest month. There were 844 homes sold in Mississauga. And obviously, real estate is seasonal. So winter is always slower than spring. So there is the seasonality. But that's not really the only reason the market is slow. Because you can see here, the thing started slowing down right around after the Bank of Canada raised the rate once again. So ever since July, the real estate market has been pretty slow. And the only thing that has changed is new listings also went down drastically. Like they went from 912 in November all the way to 358. Even considering spring, you know, like December is always slow because of Christmas, maybe snow. That's a big drop. Usually you don't see that much of a drop. There is always a drop, but that's pretty drastic. So we'll see if new listings hit the market pretty soon. Hopefully new listings will hit the market before the buyers hit the market because then if more buyers hit the market before inventory arrives, we're going to have the same thing repeat all over again what was happening uh, last year. Now, if you guys want to see month by month what has been happening, uh, so this is it. Uh, the highest price we saw for a detached house was in May, $1.63 million. 
Now we're sitting at 1.35. Free hill townhomes, average prices, same thing. Uh, the highest price was right at the month of May, $1.16 million. Now we're sitting at $922,000. And condo townhomes, uh, as I showed you guys before, a bit more stable considering what's going on in the market. Uh, hovering right around like 8 to 850 and right now we're seeing a 776 condo buildings uh, they have been the most stable out of all of them if you, you go all the way from 625 635 636 the highest was in july 676 that's a drop of 10 percent which i showed you guys before but um, the most stable have been condo buildings so that is the market update for Mississauga. If you guys need any help buying or selling in Mississauga, you can call or text me here. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.